Grills. We're going to be trying out a new product today. It's called the Ribalizer. I think it's pretty cool. Are we live? We're sure. live. Yeah. <laughs> All right, check this thing out. It comes with four of these pans, obviously the kind of pan you could get at the um, uh, grocery store to replace it. It's got this rack in here to, uh, for stacking ribs. This pops out. What's cool about this is it fits on these disposable pans. Now this is the pan I use, use to season up the ribs. So we're also gonna use it to, to cook in, the, in there. So it fits on like so. But what I like about this, I'm gonna be using this thing for uh, crown roast, turkeys, chickens, and stuff like that as well. But today, you pop that piece in like so, and we can, you can st uh, stack uh, six um, ribs. Six so we racks. got six baby back ribs. We season them up. We're gonna add uh, one beer and one Coke for some sweetness. Got a little splash. And we used, that splash should be good? Just a little bit. Sorry about that. Hang on, hang on before you go. And I'm gonna put about a half a cup of our mopping sauce. If you wanna see how to make this, this is a mustard-based uh, mopping sauce. I made it on the quail video. You can check out how to make your, but you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. I put a whole cup. It's not called Blue Ice Barbecue. That's just the vodka bottle he had. I was forced to drink this vodka so <laughs> just so I had something to put my barbecue sauce in. So then these ribs are just stacked like so. And we're going to get these guys in here. We're going to be cooking these at 275 today. And we're going to test this new product. Oh, we got to go the same way. You want the arches of the bones to all face the same direction. So we're gonna get these in there. When we season them up, we use half of uh, the Colton Screaming Pig and half of the Ross Aruski's Honey Rib Rub. And we let them sweat for about 15 minutes um, to get that rib, uh, that rub to stick on there real nice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out to the grill, get these guys on at 270 side. We'll see you at Direct Tech. So with our ribs, we're gonna do a little summertime vegetable. Summer, summertime. Yeah. <laughs> Summertime vegetable medley. We just put some uh, zucchini in here. We got some yellow and uh, green zucchini, some red peppers. We're gonna hit it with some olive oil. Um, some of our, which one we're gonna use? The brisket, let's right? Let's go with, uh, we always use a little uh, Greek. Let's Gotta go with Greek, and then we're gonna go banging brisket rub. We're making this up as we go. No, nah, let's go with steak rub. Steak rub. We haven't used steak which rub. Which is salt, pepper, garlic. garlic, basically, but better. Anyhow, let's go season that up. We're gonna go hit the red tech. We're going to use the sear kit upside down for this one. First time for everything, right? Sear them out. Put half an onion in there too? No. Yeah. Okay, go for it. I'm going to put, I got half onion here. I'm going to cut this up, add that to it, and then we're going to see you at the Rec Tech. See you in a few. All right, so we got the Rec Tech preheated to 275. We're going to go three hours at 275. What's cool about this thing is after that, you can put another disposable pan on top of it to cap it and do, and do it covered. So instead of wrapping them, you could put another pan. I'll show you that in about three hours. So we got it preheated 275. We're using our ultimate blade pellet, which is red oak, white oak, and hickory. We're not even gonna open this thing for three hours. That is the Rec Tech lifestyle. See you in three hours. All right, so what we did, we went two hours and 40 minutes at 275. The last uh, 20 minutes, I cranked it up to 350. Now what's cool about this, the part where you wrap the ribs normally, watch how easy it is with this ribalizer. So they're starting to color up nice. I'm gonna pull this out. And then all you do, take another disposable pan and it pops in just like so. And we're gonna go two more hours at 350 degrees now, I'm gonna go for a swim. So next time you see me, I'll be in my swim. You can do that with Rec Tech, you know. See you in two hours. <laughs> All right, so we took a little dip like we said we were gonna do. So uh, what we're gonna do now, we went the additional two hours. This is five hour total cook time. We're at 350. We're gonna take these guys out. We're gonna put some sauce on, about 20 more minutes, I think. Put our favorite, your favorite barbecue sauce on. So that's when this uh, ribalizer gets really cool. The ribalizer. <whistles> so I'm gonna use two rack techs to finish this up. You can stay in the food, Frank, and uh, we'll just talk about where we, uh oh, they're wanting to break. You gotta be real gentle here. Stevie's gonna sauce these guys up. We're going to go about 30 more minutes. So this could be about a total of 
five and a half hours. Whoa. You're stuck in the ribalizer. There you go. All right, get the back. Let's do the back, too. I got it. Flip it. Now add some cook time. It would never take this long if you weren't using this. This kind of restricts some airflow, so it does take longer, and that's why we went at the high heat. They don't, but it does help you fit a lot more. Get the back side. And that brush is not too great. Yet. Let's check them out. It started storming. We had to get out of the pool. Ruined our pool time. Mm hmm Well, mm. it came off the bone. Mm. Wow. Uh-oh. That's good. Wow. I tell you what, that was the first time using the ribalizer. I'm gonna do some more experimenting with it. These are delicious. They turned out wonderful. I know when I took them off. Good smoke ring. It has a beautiful smoke ring. I think the next time, instead of starting off with the liquid, I'm gonna put the rack right on the grate to stack them, and then I'll finish off putting them in the pan for the steam because they didn't color up as fast as I would have liked. I think we'll get a little better smoke circulation. It protects them almost. But I mean, you can't, you can't complain about the end product, can you? Unreal. Unbelievable. Unreal. We got the summer medley grilled up. You saw that. We also grilled some corn on the cob. It's hot. Mm-hmm. You saw it here.